Just wanted to start out today and say thank you to you, the viewers of this vlog. We've really appreciated all the support we've got, the likes, the shares on it, and especially the positive comments we've received. Um, this is something we started out for this year. We were hoping people would enjoy it. And you know, so far we're really happy to be the first kind of in the industry to do this. And it's all because of you, so thanks so much. This week we're going to talk about the origin vase and how this all got started. And funny enough, it all started right here in this building. So let's go check it out. Uh, we started in 2008 because I bought a 2009 uh, JKU. Received it late 2008. And I wanted to make rock rails. And having the family owned business, I after hours made a set of rock rails. And I also wanted to make a couple extra bucks, so we threw them on eBay and um, thought we'd sell a couple and I could put some money in my pocket, offset my cost for fixturing and the labor that I had into it. Uh, I don't know, I think I sold 10 or 12 and people kept asking if we had more, so I think we made another 20 to 30 sets of rock rails and it just kind of kept evolving. Uh, and it just took up so much time that I either had to go after it or kind of drop it. And uh, as you know, that's kind of when you and I had a discussion to say, hey, having all the manufacturing equipment from the family owned business, um, gives us a good opportunity to do it in volume. So once Ace got a little bit bigger than an eBay listing that Adam could manage, um, I began talking with him. I was friends with Adam, been friends with him for a long, long time, and was kind of in the marketing world. And I just helped him out, um, put up a website, listed the products, you know, just was doing it on my free time. Adam helped me do a million things, all kinds of projects on my house. I mean, whatever I ever needed, guy was there for me. Uh, just after hours, I'd go in and I'd, I'd bend 20 to 30 sets of rock rails a night. The next day, I might uh, cut them all. Uh, next day, put them in the fixture, tack weld them all together. Um, so through a, a week's process, you know, kind of wear all those hats. A week or so ago, the UAW next door asked to borrow a couple of our Jeeps for a National Anthem video that they did, so they just sent over the finished copy, and here's a clip. That came out really well, and we're really happy they asked us to be a part of it. Um, I was actually, I ran, I ran down to the local store and I ran into AJ at that time. Um, Adam and I met, I was working down the street at uh, a local hardware store and he noticed my Jeep out front. We started talking Jeeps and he saw my JKU with the rock rails on it and said, hey, you know, where'd you get those? And uh, was interested in set for his two door. And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm starting, I'm doing the four door right now, but I do a two door. If you want to bring your Jeep by, I'll kind of mock it up. Um, within I don't know, I think it was a year or so, um, we, we got to making a couple parts and he called me, asked me if I was looking for a job and here I am. The demand was there, I needed help and uh, brought him on early in the, uh, the start of Ace Engineering. We're making rock sliders, only had you know one or two parts available, rock sliders, high lift mounts and progressed um, rapidly from there, front bumper, rear bumper and um, you know it was Adam and I and we were plugging away and I was able to post some of that stuff on the forums, the Jeep forums at the time, um, get feedback from customers instantly, and it just really spread. I mean, when people can see it on other people's vehicle, that they were happy with the, with the quality of the product, the price point, and it was doing its job, um, you know, they'd tell five friends, five friends, and it would just keep moving. It got to the point where it was starting to become more work for me, and Adam insisted that he start paying me. Um, I would just work on it at night, you know, help him update the website, do some social media posting, things like that. Then we started going to some of the Jeep shows, went on Jeep Beach, probably 2010 maybe was the first time. And we went there I think with a Jeep and a uh, small easy up and a uh, table and it was really kind of overwhelmed by other manufacturers and what they had at these events with their semi-trailers and um, I think we went to Sheriff's Jeep Fest once and then all of a sudden the demand people were asking us to come to you know a hundred shows a year and um, I think last year we did you know roughly 15 or 20 and um, to the point now you know again we're now in the 53 foot semi trailer and uh, have all the cool stuff for for displays.
eventually, uh, a couple of years ago, it the timing was right for him, for Ace, and for me, and I came on full time to run the marketing here. You know, we've continued to grow. Uh, the business just keeps getting bigger and bigger, um, but we're still, you know, a relatively small company. This isn't some big conglomerate. I don't know. You know, from the outside looking in, maybe some people think we're a big corporation. We're not. Um, we're still a pretty small business. I don't think we're a large company, but on the other hand, I don't think we're a small company. And the fact that, you know, it's not two guys, you know, in a basement somewhere making products. You know, we're using sophisticated CNC machining equipment. We're using CNC vendors. We've got all the correct fixtures and stuff. So, um, yeah, it, it's nice to be a smaller company, but you need those types of manufacturing capabilities in order to pull this off. Things have changed quite a bit. You know, I'm less hands-on in the back um, as far as making parts. You know, more of the day-to-day -day operations, making sure we're staffed, making sure we have materials. I think it's nice to be, you, you can't be first to market with everything, but we've done that with quite a few things. We were, as far as I know, first to market with integrated LED lights in the bumpers um, years ago, 2009, 2010. Um, that didn't exist. A fender delete version that we made. Um, again, built them for a trip out to Moab, and a lot of people loved them, and uh, I see now that some, there's some other companies that manufacture them. So we're looking for, you know, bigger and better things every year. Uh, we have all kinds of new products in the works, and we hope to, you know, continue to blow this out and, and build it into the biggest aftermarket Jeep company there is. Well, uh, for the future, I mean, you know, there's still a few items that we, we want to do for the JK. But uh, obviously moving into the JL platform is going to be huge for us. Um, having some of the data that we have now um, and already developing products for the JL, um, I really want to be first to market. And being in the Detroit metro area um, with access to that stuff here now that we have, uh, really looking forward to having bumpers, rock rails, vendors ready to go as soon as this thing releases next year or the end of this year. One of my earliest memories I always have is that, you know, we set up the website and we get an email every time an order comes through. Um, it goes to myself and Adam in the early days. And uh, I can just remember the excitement I would have and I know he had when an order would come through and I'd be at my job, I'd call him, hey man, we just got an order for rock sliders, do you see that? And he'd be so excited. And uh, it's crazy to think that, you know, it started there and now what it's become. Back then, I was excited to sell three to four sets of rock rails a week. I thought it was a big deal. I had no idea we'd have thousands and thousands of sets now in the field. That's all we got for this week. Hope you guys enjoyed this little trip down memory lane with us. Um, thanks again for all the support. We really do appreciate it. Uh, if you can, continue to like and share these videos. Comment below. Let us know what you want to see in future videos. And um, check us out next week. We're going to do... Product spotlight on our inner fender. Peace. All right, Mr. Starr, here. You gotta wait. They're getting four people to come in and talk to me right now about a fixture problem. That was good, though. <laughs>